Hey guys, welcome to another episode of All Base Creations Effects Tutorials, Demos, and Review. Today, we're doing a comparison between the brand new IK Multimedia Tone X1, the Line 6 Pod Express Base, the Zoom B6, the Zoom MS60B, and the Ampeg SGTDI. All on the B15 and the IR. See, we just did the, that's what you just heard there. So all of those, you can already pick which one was your favorite. From there, you know, hold on, give me one second. Because cause at some point... I'm going to turn on this amp and I'm going to use all of these as um, as a pretty much a preamp for this Fender um, Bassman 115, um, Bassman Neo 115 and the Tweeter. Um, one of my favorite cabinets. I actually love the way that cabinet sounds. I even modeled it on the um, Tone X pedal already. Which is amazing, and um, you guys can check out my review on the Tone X pedal. But you know, you're getting a little taste of it here too. So let's talk about it. Um, we got what one, two, three, four, five different B15 sounds. Ain't that crazy? They all supposed to be the same amp, but they all sound slightly different. Um, you can pick. You can almost like. You know, some of them, you can tell the ones that are really close because they those ones sound really um, pretty much very similar to it. Like the B6 um, does a great job. The Tone X1 is great. Um, the one on the, uh, even the one on the Line 6 is, is pretty good there. Like, all of these are pretty good. Like, I like all of them. So, let's go back to them. So, for, um, first off, here's the MS60B. Mind you, this pedal is almost 10 years old and still sounds amazing. Sorry, that was that and the SGT together. You know, sometimes when you get the clicking, click, clicking, click, you know, you get uh everything together. But here we go. Um, this is the uh, MS60B. Right, so still a great option, um, even to this day. That, that is a very nice bass sound. Um, 
So when I first started playing it, I had that mix of the preamp and the cabinet on the cabinet simulation on there at about um 30. I had to mix at 30, so 30% of the cabinet, 70% of the dry signal. Um, but then the last part you just were listening to was 100% on the mix there. So the rest of the settings, um, bass was at 6. Mids was at negative two, um, troubles at four. Uh, the mids are set at 250, gain on 35, level on 150. Um, ultra is off, um, it's set to the, the matching cabinet, Ampeg 115, and the mix is again on 100. So it was on 70, a 70 30 mix. But then it was a hundred percent. So, all right. Next up, we got the line six. Um, line six Pod Express, which you know, it's what it is. You know, I ain't gonna keep saying what I said. If you wanna hear what I feel about it, go watch my reviews on it. You know what I'm saying? But, um. It's actually got decent amp models on it, um, if nothing else. So the B15 on there is pretty good. You know, I just don't like the cabinet simulation that they have for it. But the um, the amp is actually pretty good. So let's get a little bit of that. So that's that is a really nice sounding um, B15 altogether. You know, I would prefer my main gripe with that is not that 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 cab simulation is sounds like that. It's that I can't blend in my my dry signal. I always gotta have a way to keep the dry signal in there a little bit or something. You know, uh, I prefer with um, amp models to have the preamp sound coloring as as and so I have a mix between the preamp sound and the IR um, and that usually gets me my optimum results um, for purposes of the video I've been uh, I'm doing mostly um, all IR you know what I'm saying like I'm not really mixing the two I could you know and um, one thing that I will say right off of the right um, right now is the um, SGT allows you to split up your signal a lot more than the other units do. I mean, well, the B6 is pretty flexible with that. So, but 
you know, the SDT um, allows you to have a a through. So you can have a through, a preamp out, and a line level out or headphone out, you know, balanced out rather on here and XLR. You know, so you got plenty of <laughs> plenty of outs on there. You know what I'm saying? Pl not to mention you got um, plenty of ins on here as well. Um, like for the auxiliary, you got a stereo one and a mono um, quarter inch in here. So you could technically use that as a second in um, to the pedal. It's just going to be, um, it shouldn't be colored. It shouldn't be, it shouldn't be colored by the preamp. That's all. So if you want something like a keyboard, key, key bass rig to run through that and not be colored, then you could technically, but, uh, um, and it's got its own separate volume for it and a, another volume knob for the IR on the side and it saves them. You know, you can have um, up to six IRs on here. Um, on the MS-60B, you got um, the cabs that come with it, but they, they let you use different cabinets as well. You can mix them. And on the Pod Express, you can also mix the different cabinets as well. Um, the way you... Um, get to the cabinets you have to press all and tap and turn the middle knob like i know that's a lot uh, that's why I, I don't particularly it's not my favorite um you know i'll just say that not my favorite um just the hassle of using it um even even though the tone x pedal is like has a learning curve to it as well um it definitely does more, and their stuff makes sense. It is really easy for me to get a real grasp on it without looking at the manual, um, especially because of the software. A lot of stuff I was able to do is set up in the software, so uh, I actually am very impressed with this Tonex pedal, which we're doing next right now.
even even when um even the way it's responding is is really good. Like it's it's responding very well. It's, you know, um, I play softer. It's allowing it to, you know, not break up or overdrive. You know, but it's it's amazing. That's that's amazing. Um, let's go on to the Zoom. Well, let's go to the MS. Well, uh, yeah. Let's go ahead to the Zoom. MS, I mean, Zoom B6, this is the big boy, um, their flagship bass pedal, and it is amazing. Very nice pedal to just, just have in the arsenal, and, you know, it's that, it's that one pedal I, you know, can grab by itself and have a bunch of presets and have them set up and all that good stuff. So, um, you know, it's very similar. It's like, um... It's more so if you if you need a platform to really edit everything all in one like the Tonex you see the size difference you see this the size of this and then the size of this like this this is the Tonex and this is the 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 B the B six so you know granted that this does more than just the amp models. And granted, the Tonex does too. The Tonex doesn't just do the amp models; it does the stomp boxes. You can model st um, any all the fuzz and stuff. Um, you can do fuzzes, overdrives, distortions, um, EQs, and preamps. But no time-based effects, no compressions. You can't do compression. Can't do time-based effects like um, modulations, chorus, flanger tremolo phaser you can't do none of that model none of that on there um you can't model um delay and reverb either but they do have um a noise gate built in there they have a eq section built into it they also have a compressor a compressor and they have a um re reverb built in as well so you know not to mention, you get the VR, the VIR um, cabinets in there where you can really, you can load your own IRs and manipulate them. But you know they have IRs on, in the software that you can um, manipulate the mics in, you know, not a 3D faction, but on an X Y axis. You know, so that's pretty cool as well. Um, if you have amplitude, you can also use Tonex with amplitude you know so you can bring that amp model into amplitude and then you can use that that's um software which is much more i i have to say amplitude is much more in depth and much more the editing on it is crazy like the way you can move the mics and the, just everything and you can even replace speakers and cabinets and the guitar stuff. They ain't give the bass players that option, though. Come on, IK Multimedia. Don't be leaving us hanging like that. Also, y'all got to fix the fact that um, when you audition in tones on the, on the, on that Tone X, that, uh, that you can't, that whatever is loaded in there is sending those ones you're auditioning through that tone. So if I have a B15 loaded in one of those three slots, and I'm auditioning stuff, I have to go to stomp box mode, bypass the pedal, then audition sounds. Otherwise, those sounds I'm auditioning will be running through that B15. So, and I'm not trying to get double amps, you know, simulations on top of each other. So you have to turn it off in order to hear um, what the actual thing you're auditioning is sounds like um, properly. But, yeah, let's move on. Um, the B6 is up. Let's go.
just so you have them, my, um, I'm using the B15 for on there. Um, the bright is off. Trouble is set to 7.0. Mids is set to 1.5. Bass is set to 12. Um, and mind you, subscribe, like, and share. Need y'all to, you know what I'm saying? Hit that like button, bro. Uh, I'm, I'm bringing y'all stuff real quick out here. Let's go. Um, bass on 12, gain on 19, ultra on off, and volume is on 100 for the B15 sound. The flip top is called on the B6. And the IR is a um, 115 with a RE20 on it. And it's um, low is set to 65, high is set to 72. Balance is set to 100. Volume is set to negative 22.8 on the B6 IR. Um, so now on the line six and um the line six um pedal is the round setting is the b15 it's the under round the cabinet is under round as well so jesus christ i hate this thing i turned it off already one more time with the b6 <laughs> So, also another very nice sounding B15. Tone X1. Uh, one more time. Tone X. six line 
and six pod express B. But not least, the SGT. So, of course, that, that has the advantage of having an analog preamp in it, you know. That's a complete advantage, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, like, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, let me see. Um, I also, I did a quick capture of the SGT running through. Hey, 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 calm down, iPad lady. Uh, where is it? Let me see. See which one it is. It is number three from the top. So, um, one of the features on here, if you and this is just a tip for the Tone X One, I'm 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 gonna be your guys' tips and guide for bass players getting in the Tone X One because I need more of you guys in there. One. Um, we need more so you guys, more people can do more captures. <laughs> you know, the guitar players, there's so many of them doing captures and stuff. They're going, they going crazy, yo. But we got to get ours together. But I'm actually going to be um, selling mine um, in packs and things like that. Subscribe, like, and share for more information. Also, um, eventually, um, I have this Patreon up. And in my courses, I'm going to be doing an improvisation course as well as a technique course. So, um, help you guys out. But um, if you put it in browser mode, um, Tone X1 in browser mode by pressing Alt and the toggle switch. Um, so, it'll be purple like that. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that too well there. But um, then you'll have the light blinking. 
See the one blinking is the channel you're on, and you can actually press the toggle switch, and you can toggle between all three different ones. And now you got a three channel switcher instead of just the dual mode, which is two. But if you turn it, if you turn the knob, it's gonna change to one of the other presets. So while we're here, we're gonna go to number three. So you see it's blinking, but when you do it, that's you gotta kinda have them, you gotta just know how your list set up. All my ones that I did, all my personal one captures I did are red. Um, and all, all the personal captures I did with with a pre with an amp and um, cabinet together. And then I have all my green ones as all the um, preamps I modeled by themselves. Like um, my, I have my Magellan, my um, AG preamp in there. I have my S Ampeg SDT in there. Um, I also have my Ampeg BA. 210 v2 um preamp in there so i have that amp ampeg ba series head in there which i love i also have tc electronic bh 500 head in there um with the bc 410s and i have the harky um <laughs> tx 600 head in there as well and um as well as that fender 115 um baseman neo you know what i'm saying so, we're going to have a ball with this tone X thing, y'all. We're going to create a whole community with the tones and stuff, um, you know. And also, I'm going to have memberships and different stuff like that. So, you know, if, if you want access to that type of stuff, you'll have access to it included in the membership. Ain't like you'll have to pay for it separately. But if you don't want to do a membership, you'll be able to just buy all these tones and, and preamps and stuff that I um review you'll be able to buy captures of them so um you know it's and i'm telling you it's nothing like having an actual thing like the sgt sounds really good so you know um it, this is what the sgt sounds like with the fender baseman neo i know this is a b15 but we might as well go there real quick it ain't gonna take about a second <laughs> So, you know, you got plenty of options with the tones here, but let me see where we going. One, two. Uh, two, three.
So that's actually a capture of the B fifteen, um, the SGT B fifteen on the B with the SGT B fifteen circuit running running through the Fender Bassman Neo mic'd up with CAD D ten kick mic and a CAD GXL twenty two hundred um condenser a mic closer to the tweeter and probably around the edge of the around the edge of the cone as well. Nice round sound to it. You know, also very got a nice amount of top end, decent amount of top end on there. But all right, so let's start running these through an actual cabinet. Let's see. Oh, come on. Yeah. I, I keep dropping my H5, you know. It's been so reliable. And I'm just being mean to it. Cuckoo! Sorry guys, give me one second and I'm gonna have this hooked up for y'all. Eesh. Alright, alright, alright. Turn the amp on, genius. You got to turn on the amp for it to work, right? Genius, what are you trying to tell you? All right, so um, tip for the Tonex also. Um, if you need to get the setup mode, you hold down up. Setup mode is the way you can easily bypass, um, do a global bypass on all the presets of for matter of fact, let me get this back to yellow. Yeah, and so you hold the alt down, alt button, excuse me. Hold the alt button. Oh, sorry, you got to get out. I'm in um, browser mode. So to get out of browser mode, you press Alt and the trigger again. But when you're not in um, when you're not in that mode, hold it down for six seconds and you'll be here. Right? And you can bypass. There you go. So now, when that middle one is red, the uh, mids knob, and you're in setup mode, which is the blue one, meaning the Alt button to be blue and you access it by holding it down for six seconds it globally turns off all the cabinet um, IRs so you don't have to worry about turning them off individually when you're using it as a preamp for a amp which is amazing so let me see while I'm getting this together with the other units you know you don't have to um, of course with the line six one, you got to do this uh, secret handshake, stand on your head, rub your tummy, and, and balance a plate on the stick um, at, uh, to change the cabinet, turn it off. But you hold alt in this top button, and then you got to use your other hand to turn it off. You know, or you can um, you can press it like this, like with two fingers like this. Or you can press it like this and have to use the other one. Flick it, flick it, flick it. So you got all the gymnastics you got to do just to take off the cabinet. I ain't nobody trying to do all that. Um, Zoom B6, of course, is easy. If you got it on um, if you got it on a button, you just turn it on and off. If you need to, you just hit edit all. And then you can just turn it on and off. So rather relatively easy touch screen on there. Um, B6, uh, not B6, um, MS60B, if you want to turn off the cab um, simulation, 
you just go to the last page of the amp, um, the third page. That's right. They give you nine parameters on the amp. Ah. Turn the cab all the way to the right. Turn the, the middle knob all the way to the right. And that'll turn your cab off. And you can, just to be safe, you can turn the mix on zero. All right. And on the um, Ampeg SGT, if you want to turn off the cabinets um, coming through, um, if you're running through the preamp, the, the amp, the IR zone on anyway. So... But if you're going through the house or something, then say you're, going, you're using your XLR, it's a switch right next to the XLR. You can um, turn down, and it'll. Um, if you turn it in the middle, it'll turn off the cab simulation. If you turn it all the way down, it'll turn on the other set of IRs. So it's six sets of IRs you have loaded in there. Um, well, three factory and then three user ones you could put, three user slots you can use. So if you go on, put the switch all the way down, it'll be in the user slots. If you put it in the middle, it turns them off. And if you um, makes it just a like a the same sound as coming out the preamp out and quarter inch output. And if you want the factory, you go back up. So the factory, the light will be blue, and the users, the light will be purple. So, but. Um, yeah, so let's hear a little bit of what these sound like as preamps for this, um, Bassman 115 Neo with a tweeter. Well, before we even do that, let's hear what they sound like on their own. Before we do that, we're going to hear what they sound like by like preamps by themselves. Let's go. Tonex. That was the Tone X emulating the SGT. That <laughs> Jay was fire. That Jay was fire, though. How you gonna have him like that, though? Get up off him. So that was the Tone X. Um, that's a B15 on there. And mind you, I didn't make that capture. Somebody else made this capture. And this is not one of the captures made by the company. This is something somebody else made. So, um, you know, it sounds pretty good. I like it. Um, you know, of course, I, do I think 
if would I've gone with a different EQ capturing it a little bit, a little bit, but that's me. I gotta use what I got available until I can get a B fifteen in my hand. But I also have amplitude, so I ain't really too worried about it. But I love the way that sounds. Sound. Also, if you want to change modes quickly on the pod, on the, um, not the pod, the um, Tonex one, um, I go into browser mode and do it really fast. So, like, you could just press Alt, toggle switch, bam, you know, pick which channel you want, and then uh, Alt, toggle switch back out. All right? Or you can just leave it in browser mode, like I said before, and just have a three channel amp. You know what I'm saying? Or three, three. You can look at it however you want to. <laughs> Three of them. But if you want to get to that stomp box mode, remember I told you, if you want to audition stuff, you need to get to stomp box mode and turn off and bypass the pedal when you have it hooked up to the computer and stuff. So, And that's, I'm talking about not hooked up to another audio interface, hooked up as the auto, audio interface, and it was doing it. You know what I'm saying? So y'all got to fix that. It's just a tweak. They they'll they'll fix it. I'm I'm very confident if they went this far, that little extra step. They I ain't worried about them. They they'll fix it. I'm sure of it. Um, but all right, we bypassed that. All right, so now we got the Pod Express. That's actually fire. <laughs> actually fire. That's actually fire. Go ahead. Like I said, I don't even like this pedal, but that joint is fire. I told you the app models is fire on that joint. App models are fine. It's the rest of the pedal I don't like and the functionality and the I don't like the lack of um ability to tweak things. A lot of people keep saying they 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 like that they can't why? That is to me, I'm just gonna be honest, that's lazy. It's mad lazy to be, you know, I'm a buying effects pedal. I don't want to have to learn how to use. Like, you still going to have to learn how to use anything. Like, you might as well learn what you're doing or get something you can learn on. That's why I like the MS-60B um, because in the, just like the B3, um, they that's, those are pedals that helped me learn what I was doing with effects um, when I first was really getting into effects, you know, there is so much in there, and not only that, but you get to try out different types of effects, combinations. You learn what works, what doesn't work. 
um, you actually can develop. It's a better way of auditioning, in my in my opinion, of auditioning different types of effects without buying a bunch of them at once. You want, you know, you will want a multi-effects unit so you can try out different effects and see what type of effects you really like. If you get a good one, it'll have some good ones and it'll last you a while. Like I still have my B3 and I'm using it right now. I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm using it, it's, it's on my pedal board right now. You know what I'm saying? And so is the MS-60B and the MS-50G and the B6. They're all multi-effects units. And the Tone X one is a multi-effects unit. But, you know, you know it. Uh, it's just a lot to try to alter that thing, that Line 6 one. It's, it's just, I like to have a screen where you can see stuff, you can edit stuff, it save it better. Like, it does everything better like it, oh you got a list of things you can see you can put them in alphabetical order to uh, like you can assign preset to a preset to b and then use the toggle switch during gigs and switch between a b c d and, and all the things it's just it's way better trust me i'm i'm not i wouldn't set you guys up like that you know it does sound good though on the amp models i'm not gonna lie about that it sounds great um so i just wish it wasn't plastic and a whole bunch of other things. So, um, let's go. That joint sounds good though. Um, as a little pre All right, let's go to MS sixty B. Just my bass drawer. Sorry, guys. Thought I pressed the right one. Press the wrong one. Sorry. But I'm still a fire tone, though. Sheesh.
So, sounds amazing. Is a pre -amp. Oh, let's do the B6. And I, I keep doing these um, around the same order for a reason. Um, you know, uh, I'm I'm keeping the pedals that are around the same price together. You know what I'm saying? The, the MS60B, the Line 6, and the Tone X1. You know, trying to keep those around the same area, you know, so you can hear them closer together. Um, but... The B six, uh, the MS sixty B is the cheapest out of the bunch, and of course there's a new one coming out in a couple weeks. But um, if you guys would like to help me get one so I can review it for you, you can hit the super thanks and the cash up, and subscribe, like, and share. That will help too. Let's go. Um, but um, yeah. The Line 6 Pod Express is the same price as the Tonex. Ah, ah, <laughs> uh, no. That's a no-go. That is a no-go. Like, I ain't gonna lie to you. Uh, if the MS60B was the same price, I'd be like, nah, it's a no-go. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you could, you could do that cheaper. And they did do it cheaper. They did it, they did it better, and they did it cheaper, and they did it 10 years ago. Good gracious, they killed him. But here's the Zoom B6. Um, and um, these this flip top, these amp models on the B6 are also available on the MS60B Plus that's coming out in a few weeks, as well as the B24. The B14 doesn't have, it has the same aim, it has the MS60B amp models closer to those. Um, the B6 has its um, updated stuff. And so does the B24 and the MS60B Plus and all those MS60B, MS, MS, all the new multi-stomps have been upgraded to processors as well. So they, they're now, they're operating with um, better process, better computing power, more, they're more powerful and they're, they're more accurate, you know, to what it, what, what it was supposed to be. So, uh, where we at? All right, B6, flip top. So that's the B6 um, flip top. And that joint sound fire. I ain't gonna lie. That joint, that joint killer. That joint actually competes with the SGT joint. Here's the SGT as a preamp. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
So, there you go. That's the SGT on the B15 side of the SGT circuit, right? So, um, that, all them joints sound good. <laughs> Yo, I mean, no, no wonder the B15 is the most recorded amp ever. It just sounds good. Even the emulations just sound good. Like, you know, that B6 joint sounds fire. The joint on the Ampeg SGT, it sounds fire. And according to people that have a B15, that, you know, I've talked to, that joint actually sounds very, very close. If not, if they close their eyes, they probably couldn't tell the difference. So, you know, this is things you can experiment with, you know, all, all the time. You know, you can always... You got these IRs, you could be switching on IRs on the joint. You can be running just the preamps by themselves. You can um, do run them through actual cabinets and mic them up like I'm about to do right now. So let's do the same thing, same order. We'll do Tone X1, Line 6, um, Pod Express Bass, MS60B, and then we'll do the B6. And then the SGT. And then we get out of here. Make sure you hit subscribe, like, and share. Share it. Share it. Like it. Subscribe. Oh. Subscribe, like, and share. Forgot to say. Here we go. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Sorry, I know you guys didn't hear what I said. So that um, the bigger sounding one, the other one, bigger sounding one was the SGT um, on the B15 voicing uh, emulation or capture I did in the Tone X1. So here's the B15 um, that somebody else captured. Here's the SGT. SGT emulation on the in the tone X I did, the capture I did of, of the SGT. Will be fifteen. Somebody captured. SDT B fifteen voicing emulation or oh, capture on the tone X one. Um, the actual SDT. So yeah, it's really close. That that is really really close. the tone x so um now let's go ahead and bypass this um line six pod express bass so mind you this is just the preamps running through an actual fender um bass man neo 115 and that is Mic'd up with a Zoom H5 with dual condenser mics and XY configuration. So it looks like that, pretty much.
right? Bam. That's the last six pod express and the MS sixty B. But not well. No, we need to get to the B six zone B six. be killing yo uh, zoom be killing like people be sleeping on zoom zoom in my opinion zoom amps are better than the than the line six they did a better job but that's just me that's just me not saying the line six ones don't sound good as arian said that's the best part of the exp pod express so it's just it ain't the end all be all of the world you know what i'm saying but here we go SGT, subscribe, like, and share. So yeah, that's all of them, guys, and in in a few different configurations and a few extra things thrown in there. You know, tips and tricks for the Tone X One. You know, um, that's 
that is an amazing little pedal. It's definitely worth grabbing if you can grab it. Um, I would say, you know, if nothing else, it, you grab it and you get in the software, you get in the, um, you get Amplitude SE and you get Tone X SE. So you get the light version of um, pretty much um, right above the, the free version of Amplitude and, and Tone X, but you get them included with the um, Tone X one. And not only that, but you, you get Tone Net. Um, as well, and you can download all these captures and stuff. I, I did already, as well as I made a bunch for myself. Um, like the captures, um, lesser quality takes about ten minutes. Medium quality takes about twenty minutes. An hour it takes about an hour for the highest quality of capture, right? So, a lot of that work has already been done. If you, I mean, all of it's been done once you if you if it's if it's on the um, tone net, you know, you can just go in there and download it and bam. But, you know, mine will be available for you guys to buy as well. Um, once I finish making them and I'm going to get some new mics that I really like. Like I, I love a RE20 and a SM57 on cabinet. So that's the combination I'm going to go with on all my IRs. And um, you guys will have um, access to them. You know, the, the TC Electronic. BH500 um, with the BC410s, you know, the the Harky and the Fender Bassman, the, uh, all these different preamps with the Bassman sound good, the, the Gen, um, Magellan preamp sounds good, the uh, AG sounds good, the SGT sounds good with it, um, and the B6, all, the, all these units sound good with it, so um, I'm not going to do captures of the B6. Now, does that be redundant? Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not doing captures of um, of c captures pretty much or, or, or models, you know. But, you know, all these analog preamps, I've already started modeling and, you know, have already gotten high quality um, captures of them in the Tone X1. And I just got this yesterday. So, you know, it's definitely um, something that you guys should check out. And it's worth it. And I would say, um, you know, it's a, it's definitely money well spent on that right there. Like, you're not going to regret that purchase, you know. If you buy it from IK Media, I tell you right now, they don't do refunds. So if you're, going, if you're on the fence about it, you better order from um, Sweetwater or z Zounds or one of them. And I'm about to have my affiliate link. So, you know what I'm saying? They ain't going to keep getting this money up off me for free. Um... You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, I would recommend that. That way, if you don't like it, you can do what you want. You know what I'm saying? You can get back. I, I'm not sponsored by them. So, you know, don't do not do nothing on my behalf buying nothing from them at the moment because they ain't hit me up. When they hit me up, I'll let y'all know, and then we can, we can decide as a community if we're going to support them or not. But... This has been another episode of All Bass Creations, Effects, Tutorials, Demos, and Review. Um, I am the Bass Negus, N-E-G-U-S. Um, you can find all my, uh, on all social media, you can find me there. And um, allbasscreations.bandcamp is where you can find all my music. Um, all streaming services as well, including YouTube, you can find my um, music as well. If you want to support me further, um, you can subscribe, like, and share. And if you want to go further than that and you learn something from this video, you can hit the super thanks or the cash app, dollar sign, um, R-E-G-G-I-E-P-A-Y-N-E-B-A-S-S. -S. Your boy needs you to bless him anyway. So I would appreciate it. Go ahead, you know, hook a brother up with a dollar or two. Hey! I mean, I'm in here. I'm in here for y'all, man. What we doing? So, you know, but this has been another episode of All Base Creations, Effects, Tutorials, Demos, Review. Y'all have a good one. Peace.